Hi guys, this is Warren and welcome to another tutorial. So we're going to do another baseline. This time it's going to be a textile baseline and it will be something along the lines of So I got asked how to do how did I create this low baseline and all it is is actually a sample of a tom. So what we'll do is we'll create a new sample, sample one. So all I'm doing is so we'll load that. Sorry, everyone, I'm trying to hold a mic and do two things at the same time. So load up sample one. Load in the tom. That's the sound of the tom. So first of all, this is the MIDI notes which I came up with for this. So as you can see, there's two short ones, which they're at the smallest they can possibly go, and over here, hold on, let me close that down and I've just up the octave so C3, C4 there we go so that's C0 so hold on there we go so, so this is the middle so it's at the very lowest octave so if I play that back on its own, this is what it sounds like. So the first steps what we need to do is obviously we're going to be changing the LFO of the pitch. pitch so adjusting that down to one octave as you see up here on the screen Give it that effect. so next up we will be doing adjusting the cutoff so it's only the low end then next is the attack and decay of the sound itself We'll shorten the decay and sustain and add release. And next we'll be doing adjusting the attack of it to get to get it to sound right and nice. That's how to do it, Qu quite easy, as I said, there's nothing really too difficult, all, we, all I would do for that is, so we'll play this one, so that's just because it's a different sample I used, the percussion sample, so I did have, what we'll do is we'll reset it all to, so you can hear what it sounded like originally. As you hear, nothing special. So, just adjust that again. As you see, nothing special. There's no no magic process in that at all. So, some gain control, which I always do in all my tracks. Just to go zero dBU and some. EQ 46 hertz just to take out the very low end. This is going to a sub bass, which in turn has 
So it has a volume shaper, so it's side chaining. It has a mono, so I've set it to mono, that's because it's a bass line. And next off we have our bass from Waves, just to give it a lot of low end at the 65 hertz, just to make it nice and punchy. And it has a volume automation bass rider. This is just for volume automation, adjust the automation. Mix tool, mix tool would just be for the volume control buttons because I don't use the main fader to automate volume. I use another mix tool for the game. So that's that one sample. Now moving on to this. Same notes, just higher up in the octave, as you see. So, so uh, like a church organ style. To create that. Now all the processing for this is Again, gain control and a low cut at 54 hertz. Nothing to, and it goes to the same sub bass bus. So it's affecting all, all these. So play them both together. So the kick drum. Let's go over the kick drum while I've done. So, kick drum, nice deep kick drum, some gain control, some fab filter, 43 hertz, a dip at 373 is that 8, and at 4000 kilohertz, well 4 kilohertz, I boosted it, and with, so with this, EQ, to protect from waves and all I'm doing is adding a boost of 5 at 60 hertz. There's nothing else going on and it adds just more punch to the bass and this together. Sits nice. So moving on to the mid basses. So we'll load it up. It's a growl bass. And the notes just a simple. Off beat. Processing again. Gain control. Fab filter. Low cut. And just some boosting EQs. Just to bring it out. This does go into an all bass line bus, which I'll show you in a minute once I've shown you this. So, two notes. And it's just a simple bass line. Some delay on it. The processing I have on this is just again gain control, low cut and an API. So, onto the bass bus. This is what I have on the bass line bus, which is mon pretty much it's an EQ. All I'm doing is widening it slightly and making different 219 mono with adding a compressor. Very like version. As you see from the settings, nothing too drastic. Gain reductions, 2 dB. Not much, just gelling it together. With that and that bass line together. So, that's how to create this style of bass line. So, hope you learned anything. Please leave a comment and thanks very much for watching. Bye bye.